What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today, I'm really, really excited for this deck. Thanks, Kasha, for 37 Hello. months. Constantly supporting me. Thank you. Really appreciate it. This is the Tricky Knight Leap. So we've done, in the past, King Leap decks, but we are taking this to a whole nother level. The fun combination between King and Leap, the Zombie King turns one of the other guys into a 7-drop really early in the game. Uh, and then you can use the... Um, it's transformation station to turn it into an 8 cost card and you can use your uh, evolutionary leaps to turn that into a Zomba and 9 cost card and you it, you just completely win the game when you get Zomba. They'll destroy everything that they play. Now, uh, the early game has always been like, oh, we'll run some cards that maybe work well with King. Now, this early game is insane. Uh, really from the past Rust Bowl decks we've been doing recently, uh, let's say like the trick bowl and stuff like that uh found really really that uh the the mid zombie middle manager is the thing that we needed for the uh teacher paparazzi early game combo to be able to work you have your middle manager which again is just a free card and we have a lot of professional zombies in this deck so these sometimes can get five six attack in a game uh the paparazzi will grow every single time you play a trick his teacher uh, we'll make all your tricks cost less, so your tricks are going to be four hardy treats and two camel cross. This will give your guys a lot of extra health. Hardy treat, of course, gives one guy a lot of extra health, a little extra attack. You also just have superpowers like Rockwall, which gives five health. Shrink Ray. Um, heroic health and cut down size you don't like getting early, but you know. I'm running two thinking caps and four shrinking violets as uh, sort of late game, especially if you don't get your king. Uh, and you have a teacher on the field, the thinking cap will cost three, it'll give you two superpowers, which cost zero, so you can play all that on turn three. Uh, going viral will give you all your guys one one in frenzy, a really good way of finishing, both if you have knights and you don't have leaps, or if you just have your early game combo. See, we're running flag zombie in this deck, which also just glues these two strategies together. I really like doing flag zombie with middle manager, teacher, and um and the paparazzi. You can even just do flag zombie plus middle manager, and who knows, maybe this will conjure you. There are some one cost professionals like these uh like gl gladiator and chimney sweep and all that that you'll actually be able to play for free that turn as well and i'll tell you what happens when you play flag zombie middle manager is they do not want to kill the flag zombie that turn very often they're going to go after the middle manager first of all three damage not easy for every hero to do second of all uh, if they start damaging the flag zombie the middle manager now starts gaining attacks so they're like hey let's kill the middle manager first and then we'll kill the flag zombie and that makes you able to play your king on turn three uh <laughs> with a guy or two on the field uh and really helps you get your your, your king in early uh, uh let me show you this deck i have played this a little bit offline this is so fun and so good uh, it's probably going to be the best uh, king leap deck we've done ever it always has been a really really fun deck and again the chances of actually getting Octo Zombie, Plank Walker, Zomba, those 8 9 cost cards, are, are the, this deck does it very effectively. Uh, Alright, here comes Wall Knight. So we're going to Mulligan for some early game. You don't keep the, as tempting as it is, to keep leaps in your starting hand. I'm not going to do it. Uh, this Camel Cross might be useful. Let's think how we're actually going to do this, though. You can't really play 2 plus 1 because you can't really protect it on, on the next turn. I wonder if I get rid of this. Probably do. We'll look for him like a middle manager. Okay. <laughs> Guys, you're going to see it right now. So you don't play that on one. Pass. Uh, Heights lane, you usually want your king to be there. It's just a lot fewer things that, that kill it. Did not get a one drop. Got a mixed up grave digger, though. There's really nothing that Wall Knight's going to do that's going to cost three anyway. I might spam this Paparazzi for free with the King next turn. That is fine. Thank you for killing my middle manager. Nice decoy. We actually can play Flag Zombie plus, plus King here, which is really good. Flag Zombie, King costs three. Maybe just... We'll play the paparazzi later. There's no point in spamming it. He's not going to be able to... Unless he has a hammer for the king right now. He's not going to be able to deal with both of these 1-3s on turn 3. The only way is to hammer the king. Oh, bet. Sorry. If you think this deck will go... <laughs> done. This guy's done already. Oh my gosh. We've never done the bets after the first game before. Okay, start prediction. If you think this deck... We have to make it 9-1 now. If you think... Screw it. If you think this deck will go 9 and 1, vote yes, and 8 and 2 or fewer is no. Just to be fair. We're going we're going hard in the paint with this deck. I don't even care. 
The bets are going to start right now, after the first game is already in the books. It's 1-0. It starts now. They were already... Let me just clarify how this is going to work here. If you think we're going to go 9 out of 10, we have to go 9-1 and one for a yes, vote yes. 8-2 and two or fewer, vote no. Voting starts right now. Who knew that we would put the, the high stakes in a leap deck? I think this deck can do it, though. I think we can get to the 9 or 10 wins. Did it start? It did. Five minutes. We won that game so quickly. Again, I don't think you keep these early. Even just getting an extra one drop should be better here. All right, the pass. It's such a hard punish when you play Flag Zombie and they Berry Blast it, so it's a 2-drop for a 2-drop, and they're just growing your half a 1-drop into a threat on the field. Love it. I love this card. This is the key to Rust Bowl. It's so funny. Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? Okay, this is godlike. I wonder if I even commit the Paparazzi right now. Because if nothing dies here... I don't, th I don't think we want to play Shrinking Ray. If nothing dies... We always want your king to be on heights, by the way, so you can put your transformation station on the ground where your knight is. Your knights you always want on the ground, so the king always is on heights. We don't do this. We can Shrinking Ray to keep one of these alive now, but we can't do that if we have four minions on the field, because then we can't play the king. Thank you, Porcupine. Leap. Welcome to the Frymily, Porcupine15. Did someone else subscribe that I missed? Trippy. Welcome to the Frymily. Do that one. That's okay. We can still play this teacher and the and the shrink, by the way. Screw it. We don't need this teacher to live here, by the way. Just saying. If he plays a dry planet of the grapes, still kind of sad. We need a leap. We need a leap. He dead a kiss. Man had the godlike hand, oh, so the game oh, gave him got firefighter it. I know, we're getting pretty good at firefighter. <laughs> exactly. We can firefighter night, guys. We can firefighter zombot. Okay. Okay, look look how aggressive he is. Ooh, you know, Planet of the Grapes Pupture would have been actually a pretty decent play there. La dee da Fan not running gladiator against this deck. Buff shroom. Jeez. Ooh. Okay, so we have to keep one of these guys. A really good play by him, by the way. Uh, so the one is going to be is this one. It's the one that stays on the field for the longest. And preserves one of my minions, so we are going to get a knight. Screw you. Uh, and these two will actually trade. This actually is going to have a lot of impact here. <laughs> Maybe I should have just kept... Well, no, it turns into a knight anyway. But just thinking this thing's going to have a poor attack. That's good. He only has two cards, too. Oh, we are in such good shape. I, I just need, like, a trick here. A leap would be... We need a leap. Okay. So it's going to be... Should I play middle manager instead of one of the paparazzis here? One of the paparazzis can only end up being a 2-2, two -two, right? So let's play middle manager. We need a leap! We need a leap! Landscaper... No. Paparazzi tree. Thank you to one Nate Gamer, three months. Heck yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're in trouble. We need a leap so much. We need a going five, something that'll help us win here. Gajiz. Jiggies. Okay. We didn't. Okay, he ran out of sun there, but he just has unlimited cards now. Ugh. Ugh, no. Guys, if we don't get a going viral or a leap this turn, we are so screwed. Probably going viral would even be better because we're going to have multiple knights on the field. Nice play. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Cycle cap too scary. I made it nine or more wins because we did it. We won a game already. And because I have faith in this deck. So it's probably Landscaper Leap. It's pretty good. Doink. 
So it's just how much board space he has right now. If he gets team ups and amphibious minions, he can just do a lot more here. So we're leaping this one to be able to kill this. The planet of the, you know, uh, uh, an environment would have been better. He might just get the site, the next environment though. So how does that freaking works? Oh boy! Oh boy! This does seven. Uh, question is, should we protect our plank walker? We don't need to protect this one. This is four plus two. It doesn't really do anything. We do protect the plank walker. From dying here. In case. If it's octa, it doesn't matter. It still gives extra health on the octa. The leap! It's octa. So that's eight. It's not a lot. We just have to hope he doesn't get another Astro Shroom or Admiral Navy Bean. Yeah, I think he thought this this lane, that at least the Astro Shroom was safe, which is definitely not here. It's Octo. This takes two uh, two damage. Nice. <laughs> the armor is real. Okay, that turns back. That's so annoying. Oh, I guess it always does though. Oh, that's fine. Maybe keeping this alive though would have been would have been right. So we keep the Octo on the field. That's pretty annoying. Look for Bungie Plumber, I guess. It's the only trick. Oh my gosh, that's a. Oh my gosh, that's godlike. That's gonna make us win. Is that gonna make us win? The bounce. Oh my gosh, that's the top deck. Uh oh, okay. It's gotta be Bungie to face, right? I mean, he, his, his, his superpowers. This does take damage, so it's lethal. So if he blocks, if he blocks, he blocks. If he doesn't, if he's not rolling a two and a three right now, we win anyway. What would this even do? If he blocks, though, his superpowers are rain. Uh, two and two actually is good enough against rain. It's also good against an unlucky blow. Oh, overthought that. <laughs> Uh, I, I, again, I never keep track of opponent superpowers when I'm streaming because that's way too many things to think about between the chat and everything. Oh my gosh. What did he use already? He used his super. What else did he use? He didn't use rain. Did he use blow? Rain, blow, and more spore. More spore would have saved him. In which case, that bungee plumber would not have been a good play because we have to use that to... to to face the next proc is blocked and face the next turn. But against rain it would have been good anyway. Did he use blow? Did he have a superpower in his hand there? So confused. He definitely didn't have more spore in his hand. Did he have a superpower in his hand? And we can figure out based on him not playing it that turn of what it was. Anyway. The 2 and 0. The cocky, the cocky 2 and 0. I mean, the 2 and 0 on the cocky 9 and 1. It's 50 52. 51% says yes, 49% says no. Okay, so this is legit against Solar Flare. You have to play this out. This you can play on one. How do we do this? Is this too slow? I feel like we're going to get rid of the paparazzi here. Okay, flag makes this a lot easier. Do we even keep the, the thinking cap? We're really looking for a hardy treat or a camel cross. I don't think the teacher is going to live if we don't have a hardy treat or a camel cross. So let's mulligan that. We did get rock balls. So I kind of wish I kept the thinking cap, but that's okay. Uh, we, Since we have flag zombie and him, we're not going to play anything on one. Screw you. Sunflower. Thanks, name, bro. Okay. Uh, no scorch. So player guys on the ground. It's probably going to be Teacher in the Middle. Gosh, it's a lot of teachers. Now I wish I kept that thinking cap. Okay, so you're going to be here. What is he going to do here? Huh? Let's see what we get. Survey says. It's going to be Teacher. We have two anyway. And we'll rock wall something. This, this uh, what's it called? The middle manager is the strongest guy in the field right now. <laughs> If he goes after this teacher, he has three attack this turn. So it's a one drop, three, two, draw a card. Okay. Okay. 
So he spends that back. That's fine. They don't even need the teacher anymore since we don't have any tricks in our hand. Oh, we. So if he kills the teacher, we also have another teacher. I don't want this three drop on the ground right now. <gasps> oh, I think we pass and we just leap. Yep. Hard to treat leap. I know we can play an extra guy here, but I'd ra probably rather improc my block right now. We just need another card. Hi, Paparazzi and said Trickster. We're playing a low curve early game swarm with flag. There's a lot of Oh, you're annoying. You could block. I wonder if I just save this for the trash next turn. Next turn is actually turn four. We can't even do this. Would I play it here? Okay, guys. Operation, let's be stupid. Here's the play. I'm literally just going to play trash into this and get the value. Uh, we can do this for free next turn. So I don't mind taking one more damage. It's totally fine. Ooh. So it's going to be middle manager. Let's see what we get. Why not? Used to call me on my cell phone. No, trash is better. These are really, really strong cards. God damn it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. A genetic experiment. Again, you can easily say, like, why, t why not take out paparazzi and put in genetic experiment? Good question. Genetic experiment probably is better now. That I think of it. There's not enough tricks really for the paparazzi, <laughs> even with the thinking gaps. Paparazzi's are very strong. I don't know. I was running genetic experiment in a deck like this, and it didn't seem to. Genetic experiment kind of is more self-sustaining, which is probably better. Paparazzi is a professional. It's probably not a good enough reason. You're right. Maybe after this game, I'll take out the four paparazzi's and put in four genetics. We actually got. Heck yeah, we got we got a daily dose of of screw you. Let's go. We can we can we can actually just okay, GG. <laughs> See you later, bro. Thinking cap. Okay, okay. Oh, that was devastating. That was not fair. I wonder if I just missed lethal too. That would be neat. I think I totally missed lethal. Because two three no, this one would have gone blocked. Nah, never mind. Look at the double the double supers here, okay? So he's down to one. I hope he has some fuel clear in his hands. I don't know what he's gonna do on turn six. Probably nothing. See ya. That's what he's gonna do. That was crazy. Uh, that'll go in the highlight count. Heck yeah. I think I am going to make this switch in this deck. It does make sense. You can never really play the paparazzi on turn two unless you have the teacher. This really does make a lot of sense. This is the better card. In fact, you know what I could just put? I could just put... I could just put... Um, Gladiator. 
which is a professional, plays around Thinking Cap. It survives on the field, so it works very well with the very difficult card to remove with the king. This is a tar- everything's a target. Should I give this guy some love? It's a leapable minion, too. It's much more leapable on the, than the- Let's say you don't get Teacher. I don't know what your hand is. But let's say you get a tar terrible starting hand and you just have genetic experiment as early game. It's kind of garbage. But if you just have this and you start leaping it, so now all of a sudden you got a 2-drop that they have to deal with. Two and two? How about two and two so we can see which one is better? Guys? Here we go. Two and two. And this way, we'll be able to be... Getting bricked with too many gladiators is bad. Shenanigan Experiment is definitely the more powerful card. Alright. Nice call, Les. Two and two. This way, we get to play a few games, and if we see one of them is, is clearly way better than the other, uh, we can do that. Umbrella in this deck. It's a, it's a cute idea. I feel like we still need more early. For Flag Zombie, you definitely need 12-1 drops. Did I say Gladiator plays- did I just say the sentence Gladiator plays around Thinking Cap? I meant Cycle Cap. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Uh, goodbye. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's going to be one of those days. See, right now, top decking a gladiator is a lot better than a genetic experiment, for example. I mean, this is so... We have so much... You can't, like, say fry. Obviously, you don't have enough early game in this deck. We're running six tricks, by the way. We have two of them. Six early game tricks. I guess if you count the leaps, then we're running way too many early game tricks. But we have enough minions in this deck. Shut up, guys. This is a way of getting some momentum here. I, I think I have to. He either has a removal card or he doesn't. He also might have an, a different 2-drop that he really wants to set up, like a split fee or something here. That just prevents him from, from playing. Lily? God damn. What the hell? God. I'm gonna do this to remove the card and keep a little bit of semblance of something on the field. This is such a problem. We just need a second minion. And then we can actually get into this game. Uh, okay, that's... Hopefully he just plays like a Captain Cucumber here and we'll be at, our, at the mercy of this thinking cat. Honestly, in this situation, you know, using a trick... God damn it. Does he have the one drop, though? Shelf Shroom? He played Lily, Mushroom, Shelf... Okay, so it's a Mushroom Swarm deck. Oh, you're so you know what? At the end of the day, 3-3 three, three from a Lily is um just a 3-3. Three, three. This is not even that scary. This whole game is scary if we can stop... Oh my god, we're getting bricked so hard, though. I, this is so sad. This is easily the saddest day for every single Jew ever. <laughs> no, sorry. Wow, there's been some sad days for Jews. How can we compare this to it? I thought this was a YouTube video for a second. Everyone says that. People are so used to watching me on YouTube that they, they're watching the live stream. And they're like, whoa. <laughs> I thought it was a YouTube video. Meteor shouts. Plus, plus or another removal card? Why do you need here? Put some, get some, get some pressure on the field, bro. At least we have a, some health in our hands. We're definitely gonna need it. You know, he's running pretty low on cards here. I guess we do this just to establish this lane as the defense is our main priority. We just need some minions here. Come on, man. There's one. This actually... I guess the Astro Shroom is the scariest thing on the field right now, right? 
So we just double hardy tree this and heal our face. But maybe we want to leap it. In fact, leaping is probably our wing. In fact, the Astro Shroom isn't even scary as long as we have this. You know what I say? It's one, two, and heal. Yeah, this is the play. We have to get a Plank Walker as soon as possible, or a Zombot. Honestly, the Captain Combustible sucks at removing things. Maybe I should have played around plant food, though. I guess if we play here, plant food kills it anyway. What is he doing? So it's... The play is simple. The play is extraordinary. And the heal, just to keep us alive. Now we either get a plank walker or an octo zombie on the spot. What is... He has five sun. What is in his hand that he passed there? Someone please explain. Oh no! I shouldn't have healed, stupid. I forgot he's gonna take all this damage. Oh crap, I, I messed up. Oh boy, I'm not used to playing Gladiator in any decks. Oh my gosh, I completely, completely blundered. I think the play was probably not healing. Well, no, the play was not healing because we're preventing all this damage. I just have to play Hardy Tree instead of that and we could have won this game, okay. Um, let's see if we can get a minion out of this. Or another. This is one we need. actually need the Z-Max Super. We didn't need it the other game. He had this last turn. I'm guessing he's passing again. What is he doing? Maybe it's just plant food and he doesn't want to waste it or something. Come on, come on, come on. See... We, we could actually get the Plank Walker. The problem is we're taking five. We'll have six health left. This has got to be right. This has got to be right. Or the, or the Octo. Imagine Octopult turning into Octo Zombie. That would be cool. That's what it's a little better. I think we're okay in terms of health. I think we are. Plank Walker just to clog some lanes would be so nice here. So again, this happens end of turn, and then the leap happens at the beginning. That's why these two synergize so well. Come on, Plank! God damn it. Okay, so it's gonna be you and going viral. I still think we're okay. Maybe because his curve was so low, I should have just been more patient there. Wow, so he's running seven drops and stuff. Um, so going viral. Zom oh no, did he just lose? If, we if this turns into a Zombot, this is 12. We lose the game. Wait a minute. I might as well do this. So Zombot loses, otherwise we actually have a decent chance here. Unless we roll double threes, no that's not happening now. So we need this one to turn into a Knight. Oh no. Gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm not throwing for content, I really... Okay. Oh! No! He just won- that won the game, that was so smart! Oh, that was a billion IQ! That was a billion IQ! <laughs> no, Samba! Zombot is the worst card in the entire game. You're trash, Zombot. Wow. Wow. All right, that whole game's going in the fail count. It literally is. Give me a second, I gotta write down this whole trashy thing. <laughs> Game four. That's with the crappy starting hand too. This whole game is just a fail a fail count from beginning to end.
I do it. It was actually lucky that he blocked there, else we would have had a Bad Zomba. That whole game is I just had, I just wrote four lines <laughs> explaining what happened there. Dear editor, this is the whole fail video, it's just that game. Run some of your decks that had some of your most viewed videos on YouTube sometime. It'd be cool to watch. Wow. So I should redo redo my most popular decks. That's a really neat idea, dude. Redo most popular YouTube videos decks. That's a really good idea. All right, so we're three and one. Gosh, that was crazy. <sighs> That's a cool hand. Uh, as tempting as it is to keep this, we do need one extra card here. That is definitely not it. Okay. Let's see if we can get one. Though. Definitely gonna play that on one. We're gonna play these two and hopefully get a third minion. Would be really nice. Like middle manager. Um, I think we can still. The question is which lane. It's kind of crazy. We have to not play on heights. It, it's gotta just be like this. <laughs> we really need the ground lanes to have knights in them. So I'm gonna play into their super. We really don't actually need this one drop. We need the flag zombie way more. Ugh. Okay. At least this works. Using botanist? Oh, that one. You're right. That one did really well. I think the the most one is um. When guard turn, guard throws out. I think of a gameplay video. You're right. That was the most. Oh my gosh. So now he supers it. Oh, I'm screwed. We gotta do that just for our card now. If he plays Winter Squash, I basically lose. You ever put out videos about game concepts? Not so much. I did a couple of deck building comp uh, tutorials. Um, I could do more more general strategy guides. I honestly just don't think anyone's gonna watch this. <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest, I feel like people would rather just see gameplay. But who knows? Put some general general game theory. Maybe. Okay. You're stupid now. Uh, because of all the leaps we have, I'm gonna give him one of these. He already used a super too. Let's screw this guy. Are you okay? Well, we have an answer to that. Um yeah. We're, we'll cover this environment next turn, so that's all we need to do with the chat. Please don't roll double three to get low. Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, it goes from left to right. So the one on the ground, that 100% happens, by the way. I, I was like, oh, please, the one. Okay, we actually have Zombot this turn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this game wasn't really going that well, but we literally have a Zombot unless he bounces this. And trust me. 
What a freaking okay. We're gonna we're get, we're getting we're getting some we're getting we're I don't know what we're doing. Well, we can't. Li I guess it's just thinking cap and then environment. Unless we get like backup dancers, I'll probably go for that instead. Gosh. God, that was a terrible thinking cap too. We got heal brain for you. Ugh. I can't believe he bounced that. I'm so we had Samba. <laughs> we had everything. Free synergy? There is no free synergy there. It would be cool if they made that in the game. Should I just play Knight here? Or should I play Teacher? I think Knight's just better. Better. Uh, when he doubles in the red planet, he keeps all of his stats and then just subtracts another five when we cover him. Pretty sure. The freeze. Okay. The good news is he probably doesn't have any more removal. Come on, Plank Walker. If he had removal, he probably would have gone for it. Right? He should be trying to go face instead of killing King. Thank you for for making this this automatic Zamba now. Come on, bro! Okay, so this goes here. We gotta put a body on the seven damage. It's devastating. Can you please not bounce this? Yes, freeze it. That's fine. That's totally okay. I 100% accept all of your choices you make in life. You wanna see freeze? I'll show you freeze! This is all BM. Estoy BM. If someone even left the YouTube comment that it's really Esta BM. It's guaranteed liquid. Do you guys see it? It's like a puzzle party. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> nice freeze, bro. <laughs> see you later. I use it on the trickster just to show you guys the game mechanic. It just draws a card. Oh, I should have used this. It doesn't, it can't, you can't leap a 10 drop into anything, so it just doesn't, it, it draws a card because the leap power draws a card. It has nothing to do with the mechanic. Well, uh, then. <laughs> 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 oh, that'll go to Hanukkah, why not? The good old BM, good old fashioned BM. I mean, we're having Highlight City, of course. And we're also 4 and 1. Damn, we still have to win five more games. <laughs> was I just <laughs> singing the Star Spangled Banner there? <laughs> yes, I was. I guess I'm patriotic. What do you know? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why can't you treat, trick leap, uh, leap trickster into guard face? That would be a cool Easter egg, right? It doesn't really make any sense. Uh, we actually need to play our king on the ground now. So it's going to be like you. You're the most actually important one. You're going here. And we have two tricks to play. At least this guy decides to show up to the game. Um. Yeah, I thought Flag Zombie would not be good, but it turns out it's <laughs> insanely good. It's incredible. Uh, how about we keep these for next turn? Plan. Bitch. Yeah, the person who... Someone showed me Flag Swarm. The deck looked a lot different than this, but it, the principle was the same. It was a Flag, flag Swarm King Leap deck. And I was like, no, nah, maybe not Flag Zombie, maybe you run... And I, I made her a Cryo Brain. I actually tried it with Cryo Brain and it was garbage. But the Flag Zombie, because of the middle managers, it makes the Flag Zombie so consistent anyway. Okay, next time, keep it to yourself. Oh, we. Oh, thank you, yeah. I think I'm just keeping this Hardy Treat for when it's actually useful. Okay. Really, spending a Hardy Treat here and then... It, it doesn't do anything here. None of his superpowers really do anything. Uh, I'd almost like this one so I can think and cap Cedro next turn. I don't really care, actually. It's more value when it's 
Yo, get yo, get yo monkey ass out of here. What are you talking about? That's right. Uh, all's well. <laughs> we should call this deck Knights of Hell. This thing is, cr this is so good. Oh my gosh. This is so freaking good. Plus Flag Zombie Teacher. Who does that? Middleman. It's so great. Are the Camel Crosses and Hardy Treats doing well? I think they are. Flag Zombie's so good. How is it not rare? That's not how this game works. Bungie Plumber is one of the best cards in the game. It's a common. Same goes to Berry Bless. Okay. Here it goes. Nothing. I'll keep king if I can get it. Well, keep king if I get a one drop here. So is this a good turn two play? Me thinks it is. We have a chance also to drop like another card. Maybe keep king there. Uh, probably have to play this on heights now though. Unfortunately. Oh we. Oh we. Give that man a berry blast. Also, they usually go after the genetic experiment here, and so I just love this, man. When you have, okay, here's the here's the calculation. When you have flag, and every other card is a threat, genetic experiment, gladiator, not. And maybe that would be a reason to run more genetic experiments. But teacher, if you go after the flag, then the middle manager becomes a threat. It just makes them. It makes your. I mean, he could be he just didn't have berry blast here. I guess he didn't, but. It just makes the flag much more likely to live. Now we have leaps. I mean, now he has to he has to be able to deal three damage here. Which Solar Flare has a few ways of doing. Oh my gosh, he just didn't feel like dealing with it. Behold the power of turn three king, guys. We should just call this the turn three king deck. Knights of the Round Table, more like. More like... Come on guys, help me out with this one. Two more gladiators, fewer camels. Maybe. The camels really are only useful if you have teacher. Otherwise you don't even play them. I mean, same goes with the hardy tree. I don't know. Okay, so we get rid of Leap. We might keep going viral here. Um, mm -mm. See, this is a trick hand. Okay, that doesn't count as a win. I was gonna mulligan another one because it was a... It was a hand where we needed more tricks, not more minions. Meaning, second flag didn't really do anything there. We need a Leap! Air Destroyer 69, welcome to the Primally. Knights of the Round Flag? Come on, we can think of something a little edgier than that, I think. Table of the Round Knights. <laughs> Sounds funny, but I don't care what that has to do with this deck. Knights of the... Is there some leap? Or some swarm? Or some... I don't know. Is there some pun? That I'm, like, completely missing? Oh, that's a very cool hand. I think we get rid of this loose hand. Uh, that's fine. I'll keep this. We actually mulliganed into the teachers. We'll get another minion here, though. So it's going to be a Y. If he rumbles this, that's a happy day for this deck. Oh my gosh. We actually got Chimney Sweep. We have to play around Rumble. If he can show us a superpower, that would be really nice. We're gonna have to... Not fully commit this this board though, so one of the two. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See you later. Do I even commit a teacher here? Maybe I don't. Well, I can always camel cross. Is losing a teacher here that bad? I think this was pretty silly silly, if you ask me. It's a 1 in 4 rumble. 
I think this hand just loses so badly if he has rumble that we're gonna we're gonna take it slow here. But maybe he's not gonna if he didn't commit it last turn, he won't commit it this turn either. Okay, we probably have to just get him to commit it, right? I don't know. We're actually hoping he just plays Spike Weed Sector. I probably should have actually played a teacher there. What a fun thinking this time. Gosh. Wow, that's a good play. Pass. How do we deal with this garbage? We do have a chunk. Oh, actually, three health survives here. There's a superpower. Which is quite nice indeed. What do we want to start leaping here? Which one's more valuable? I guess with health. We don't really have a lot of cards in our hands, so we actually leap the teacher. I'm not gonna play around and rolling really high. And also getting a super. We have just have a lot of things we gotta deal with right now. Kanga Kanga, I love to see that. So what do we get here? Whew. Not this one. Uh this one? Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy, and we really want the two drop to be the one leaping here, too. Uh, we know he doesn't have super, so we can just empty our. our. our hands. Empty our hands. Empty your mom. Thank you, sandwich. Oh, come on, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, this game is not going very well. So now we give up on the teacher. I leap this for a card. Bucky boy. I don't really know what's happening in this game. All I know is that his super is still freaking devastating. Ugh, that spike we sector really, really hurt us. Good card. The protect. Okay. Super's working. Now we just need a going viral, a series of going virals, basically. You know? Thinking Cap also would have gotten us. Back in it. He just still has this lily active, and we don't have anything, literally nothing to do this turn. I uh, I don't think we're gonna win this one. Plant food. That was really strange with the lily on the field. It's actually plant food there. He only has one card now, too. So this lane, I'm just gonna leave this alone. Four damage ain't enough. I don't know what the heck he's doing, even doing here, bro. Uh, I'm gonna put this here, I suppose. We're just looking for a big card, something that can help us in this freaking game. Oh my gosh. It's so annoying. Okay. I guess I'll give this strength, just so it has it's three attacks for you. Thank you, Samish, for 300. Why do you move like a pendulum whenever waiting for your turn? It's just, it could be, it's it's like ADHD, for real. <laughs> it's very likely that I have it. It's like, I'm, it's just like being restless. It's just like a, t it's like a, I don't know if you call it a tick. There's no point in not healing the paparazzi. We literally have paparazzi in our deck, I'm not even it. Okay, so he protect, he's just not doing enough. We're just gonna be able to jump block him, I think. In fact, this will actually absorb both of these lanes now. There's the rumble, and it's so sad. Too late, bro. Not the rumble he was looking for. So we just need Thinking Cap, King. Oh, man. Are we gonna win from two Bucket Boys? Is that what's gonna make us win here? I'll probably just Camel Cross. Just to keep these guys alive. Yeah. Oh no, he's drawing cards. 
the whole thing we could have done is just because he doesn't have enough cards, but... Mm. Are you kidding me? He got literally the best one, the 3-8. Literally the best one. He's still not going face, though. Instead, he's trying to play defensively. I don't know why. la dee da dee da This still doesn't die. This is actually still alive for another turn. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Where's our going? Oh my gosh, if we can just spam going virals, we could probably win this game. Can we get Thinking Cap or going viral, please? Pretty, pretty, please. Do I need to play this now? This will do one plus one. I guess I need to play this, right? I don't even know what I'm looking for here. The more expensive, the better. Gosh, that's not good. Keep Moss. He's down to five health kidding me where did he get where did he get that from that's crazy man that's actually good well so we're doing zero damage yeah. okay lily's active now some blocks did we get our super yet block super would, would, would be give us a shot here <sighs> We're probably scooping this. He's probably not going to get a trick here, right? Let's do this one. He's probably just playing a minion in one. And then we'll rock wall this one. And scoop this one. So we'll take six here. I mean, that's just okay. Grab you. Firefighter. He put this in front instead of behind. I don't know what that was about. At least the repeat loss is dead now. Uh, again. <laughs> just didn't get any of our any of our cards, man. There's our first leap this game, right? Actually, gross room not on heights. Uh, what are we looking for? I don't know. To survive this lane? Fire. Fire rooster. Thinking cap. And. That actually makes us survive, though. Do we blow? We always do this. Do we blow? Is there any... Oh my gosh, if we can get back into this game right now, guys. That was a freaking... What was that? I don't think we blow. I think we, we will need this for next turn, theoretically. If we win this game, guys, what what would what would do it for us here, though? You're so late to the party. We need to top deck our second thinking cap now. Even have a shot. He still doesn't put cards on heights. I don't know why. Man. man, if we got these going virals a few turns ago, we would be fine. Now nah, we're done. Well, actually, there's a, there's a block to be had if we can get this one now, now. Nah. There's double threes. God damn it. You're still thinking, dude. Oh, we needed those going virals earlier, man. Thank you, Sandwich. Spamming bits, let's go. Ah, uh, okay. I I'm just thinking what could have came out of that thinking cap, too. An environment and strength power, for example, would have would have won the game. Um, uh, super brains and an environment, I think, would have won. Okay. Well, no, that wouldn't have won. Anyway. Too bad. Alright, the channel points are actually determined. It was a 50 50. Little cocky, not gonna lie. That was kind of BS though. We got really break. This deck shouldn't be breaking as much as it is. The answer is no. But we can still go for the agent, too. 
Stay optimistic, guys. Should I just keep this hand there? Should I do the thing where I just try to leak the gladiator as hard as possible? You know what? Let's try. I'm actually playing gladiator. I know. God forbid. We're playing it on one. Uh, his super actually kills us. Okay. What is he gonna do? Is this gonna get a Captain Cucumber? <laughs> Galvanize would have been enough. You're right. Galvanize would have won there. I'll uh, start leaping this. Cook me down. Cook me down. Is that a suggestion? He put a 3 2 there. That's cute. Let's see if we can leap this, this gladiator all the way to Zomba. <laughs> it absorbs damage and then it leaps. Don't mess with that ghost. I don't have seven wins now, right? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Removal. Too cheap in this game. I have nothing to do. Is Flag good with Ghost because you get two minions? They're actually good now. I think I one cause Ghost wouldn't be that bad. Alive is not worth it. No way, Jose. We might be able to get an amphibious night move. We actually have amphibious Zombot theoretically. Uh, I guess we'll get the Captain Cute numbers. This is uh, another minion would be really nice here. Another one drop. It's gonna be like that. Or probably just rock walk. Ouch. It's a lot of extra health though. I mean, what's better, card? Rock wall? Five health? Or three? Probably never need attack in this deck. You know what? I think that rock wall is the better card, so we'll save it for when we need it. Especially in this deck where minions surviving is a hot commodity. Let's go. Nine our health, right? Eight. Uh, amphibious Knight, let's go. That's fine. Uh, so we do have a Zombot. A Zombot exists. Come on, Plank Walker. <laughs> we don't need it here, though, because we have the Zombot anyway. <laughs> Get this weak stuff out of here. Oh, Frozen. Here, let's freeze the Snow Peat. Just, just... Just before it dies, it'll be nice. Just a nice thing. It's the right thing to do, you know? Zombot time. Let's go. I'm not even going to trickster here. I'll save this leap. It's fun. A week? Let's play around super. Uh, sorry, am I able to read all the questions in the chat? There's like 300 people here. And just look at the chat whenever I am not doing something. So if you have a question, I don't answer it, just wait a few minutes and try it again. Try it between games, that's the best sign. <laughs> How many bits do I need to give you to perform the entire Starchlord rant that is entirely themed around needing a leap? Um, 
I'm gonna say so it's it's five hundred is five dollars, right? So I'm gonna say five five thousand. I'll do it for fifty bucks. <laughs> five thousand bits. That's what we won. We're seven and two. We're in a seven and two scenario. Damn, I wish I had made the bets normal today. <laughs> oh well. We got some really bad luck. It's kinda cool when you have a leap deck that needs to like get screwed out of wins. This is a nine and one deck, I don't care. Guys. Where's the emotes, guys? Who, we don't have any subscribers in the chat? What, 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 what? There's no subscribers there? There aren't any subscribers? Okay. I think this camel cross really helps us. How long did it take you to get all the cards? Well, people like donated a lot of money for me to buy cards way, way, way back in the day. That's a great one. Thank you so much, Sandwich. Much appreciated. Uh, I'll give him one of these. Give him one of these. Give him one of these. And we got a camel cross. We got all kinds of stuff. He's also probably going to feed this vampire this turn. He's probably just going to put something stupid on the field. Oh, come on. Shroom for two. I thought it was going to be an aggro deck, but I guess not. That's not an aggro. You're not my dad. That's not an aggro card. You're not my real dad. Turn three, Vampire. Flags on me, Vampire. Okay. Wow, at first I thought he was... At first I thought he was silly, silly. But now it turns out he's smart. So it's aggro mushroom spam. Not a terrible idea, actually. Oh, we're getting our, our tuchuses handed to us. Our tushies. El tushies. Oh, the heal is actually the power we need right now. I don't need anything else. No, 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 no. Okay, we have chop. Gosh. That was a close one. Now we can actually get Zombot. Oh, they're doing night tomorrow. It is time for Zombot. Hope we get some poker. I don't want Octo Zombie to exist, because I, I want Leaps always to make playing. <laughs> kind of broken, actually, with Night Slack. Slightly broken. Uh, we'll give him one of, one of these. This is very good, yes, this. He's going for it again, boys. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's not doing anything, actually. He's going straight to hell, is what he's doing. Yeah, that's guaranteed Zombot. Have a nice day. We'll most likely see you next time. It's Zombot, and then it turns back into a sad night. Oh no, it's night, and then it turns into... Oh, it's not Zombot. Can you kill this, please? I want a Zombot so badly. Oh no, it never doesn't turn to Zombot to kill the king on the field. God damn it. Looks like I made a boo boo. Can I get Plank Walker for one? Gosh. Garsh. Garsh. Uh, is this better than King? Yeah. Very blast. Are you freaking kidding me? Wow, we just got by an aggro deck. Not a lot to do against Swarm Pumpkin. Alright, 7 and 3. Double Berry Blast for the win. He didn't need anything, he just needed two Berry Blasts. <laughs> All right, guys, that was definitely a fun stream and definitely going on YouTube. The score does not, I don't think does this justice, but maybe I, that last game actually was one that was legit. I think Haunted Pumpkin and then a lot of damage could really get it done. And Puff Streams especially because we can't make good trades against team-ups. We have, just don't have the ability to do that in this deck. Plus, we get a lot of going virals going.
So what was better, genetic experiment or gladiator? Hard to say. Hard to say. Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys, the bets were already settled because we was a nine and one bet. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was a really, really fun stream. I'm so happy with this. Try this deck, guys. <laughs> it's better than the Jesus is try. Heck yeah. <laughs>